Welcome back to This War of Mine. It is day 28. Katya has just brought back a bunch of very good stuff. Pavel has also returned from his little journey with that man that came to the door and said that he found an abandoned place with some good stuff in it. Brought back nothing I can really directly use right now, but stuff that is probably going to be very valuable down the road, especially if I can turn it into actual cigarettes, not just raw tobacco. And also, apparently, Katya is not doing very well. So, first priority is going to be water, sleep, and heat. Okay, Bruno, you're going to be the one to deal with the water. Everybody else kind of just needs to go to sleep. Wait a minute, there's still... There's two fuel in there and it's four degrees centigrade. have to put a lot of fuel in there. It's fro- oh shit. Right! There's no rain! There's no rain! Oh, I shouldn't have made that filter, well... Oh, I definitely need some fuel. Right, you can just go to sleep. Put another one in there. Let's make it warmer. I'm just gonna go put both of them in there. There we go. Now you can go to sleep. Okay, uh, let's go get some snow. Temperature's going up. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I suppose it's one snow for one water, most likely. Speed it up there, Pavel. So I probably boil it on the stove, right? That would make sense. All right, he needs to make some food. Ah, the temperature is still too damn low. warmer in here. Yeah, wood is going to be my primary concern at this point, just to stay warm. Jeez. Okay, five? Is that enough? Fuck it, let's do six. Okay, water. Yes. Um, oh, it actually only takes one snow, and it does still take the filter, so thankfully I did not waste that. In fact, this just speeds everything up a hell of a lot. So that's actually really, really nice. I only have one vegetable, though, so I actually don't even need to make water. I just need one more fuel. Okay, my vegetable garden should produce vegetables in two days, I think. Alright, looks like Amelia's up. Good, good, good. She can go eat. And help with stuff around the house. Yep, temperature is now very nice. Very comfortable 18 degrees centigrade. I think that's like mid-60s in Fahrenheit. Okay, is anyone very hungry? 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 No. Okay. And I guess you two can eat since you're up. Alright, let's go ahead and make the hatchet. Okay, so that actually takes a lot of parts, a lot of gun parts. And quite a bit of wood, so hopefully this will actually allow me to take out the furniture around here. 
the furniture that I don't use. I don't want to hack up my bed or my chair, but I do want to hack up all these storage things that I don't need anymore. Okay. Yes, it does allow you to. Sweet. Thank God. Okay, everybody, get to hacking up stuff. Break it. Wait, no. Go, go hack that up. Okay, how much wood? Oh my god. I am so glad I just made that hatchet. This makes things so much easier. Wow. I don't even have to really worry about wood. Well, for a little while. In the long term, I still will, but for now, not even a problem. Beautiful. So temperature is not a problem. Let's throw another log on the fire. Okay, so is there anything I can make with wood, now that I have so much of it? Hold on. I really don't need another bed. Hmm. Could make chairs, but that takes components, and that I don't have unlimited of. Could make armchairs, once again, components. I could make a guitar. <laughs> Does anyone actually here know how to play the guitar? I don't know. If nobody knows how to play the guitar, is this thing just gonna go to waste? Wouldn't it be funny if you make a guitar and nobody knows how to play it? That random people will just try and, and fail badly to play it and annoy everybody else and the general morale of your people will go down? That would be wonderful. Kinda wanna make a reinforced door. I need a shit ton of components, but the good thing is I can get a lot of components now, because I don't even need to worry about getting wood at the moment. I can just get nothing but components. I should also probably make something to process that tobacco, because apparently tobacco is rare right now. So if I process that, I could potentially trade for a lot of stuff. Let's see. So that would be this. Okay, so if I want to start doing that, then I need more components. So that's what I need. Components. Gotcha. In the meantime... Hmm. Yeah, let's make a saw blade. Because I'm going to be going back to the construction site. And there's one place I can saw my way through. Down below. Okay, how much stuff is there for, left for me to hack up? Just one more thing? Yeah, it looks like that's it. Okay, so... Let's not get too crazy with this wood thing. Oh, but wait a minute, I can hack up furniture if I take... I can take it with me. Yeah. Very cold? Yep. I noticed. Okay, yeah, so I can take that with me and hack up furniture at other places. Alright, everybody's doing pretty good. We do need a little bit of food. I mean, have the raw food, but I'm kind of just waiting for the vegetables if I can. But I might not be able to. We'll see. Anyway, uh, what's going on? Oh, crap. There's some places I can't get to because of the snow. Okay, so yeah, let's go back to the construction site. Um, yeah, let's take Pavel, because Katya's sick, so she can sleep. 
Thankfully, I've gotten a handle on the temperature, so that's nice. And then both of you can guard. Again, now we actually do have fairly valuable stuff, so I do definitely want to protect it. So I'm basically just after components. Okay. I've already used up a lot of the durability of this hatchet. I've got so much tobacco. Alright, let's take the saw blade, and we are good to go. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if you can trade with snow? Just, like, make all your people constantly gather snow all day and take just buckets full of it? It's like, <clears throat> do you mind if I buy uh, some food for this snow? It's a rare commodity, I swear. What's that stuff outside? That's No, that's not snow. It's all fake. Hope there's still nobody here. It's like the first thing we do to. Oh, whoa, what's that? It's probably a rat, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I gotta keep in mind that at any moment people could be here. They were here the first time I came. Nice, especially the weapon parts. Oh, man. That is really good. It's not a very good quality cigarette, but Bruno's gonna be happy. Medication is worth a hell of a lot, and the fertilizer is also great. Can use that for the traps. The stench of decay is unbearable. These bodies must be months old, as they're falling apart. Some have bullet holes in their heads, but no other obvious signs of violence. Are they the rebels killed by the army? Prisoners shot by the rebels? Whoever did this tried to conceal the crime by flooding the basement. Maybe they intended to collapse the building and bury evidence under the rubble. Oh. Holy crap, this is really good stuff. This is really good stuff. Okay, I don't need the wood. I have I know I have tons of gunpowder. I don't remember how many shells I have. Um oh wait, I've been when I ever since I visited the brothel, I came back with just like unlimited weapon stuff. Which means I actually have plenty of both gunpowder and shell casings. I just need to upgrade the metal workshop enough to be able to make it, which would require a lot of components. Which means I need to dump something. Okay, I don't need herbal meds. Okay, so there's a little bit more down there. Blizzard looks fierce. All right, let's see if I can find some more components. Sweet. Okay, I should dump something for these components. What do I not need as much? Hmm. I don't like having stacks of just one weapon part. It's not efficient. But then again, I do kind of need them. I just used a bunch to make that hatchet. 
Uh, I'll dump the low quality roll up cigarette. I'm gonna dump this electric part too. Let's see if I can find some more weapon parts to continue stacking. Pavel, what are you doing? Doofus. Ooh, here we go. Sweet. I don't remember if there's anything left up here. Pretty sure I took every single thing from up here. This is where all the food was and the alcohol. No, oh, there's something left. What did I leave here? No, oh, herbal medication. I think that's all I'm going to get. There's not that much left here except wood. And a couple little knickknacks and parts. But I believe that's most of the components. Wait, 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 what's in there? Ooh. Did I just loot this? I did just loot this, didn't I? I must have. So there's quite a bit of stuff left, just not components. And unfortunately, components are what I need the most. I can't even remember what the hell I've looted already and what I haven't. What, you can't just jump over that? Alright, I think it's time to go. Of course we were. Oh crap, I think we used up all of our ammunition. And Bruno has a deep wound. I don't actually have any bandages, do I? I have medicine, but not bandages. Shit. Okay. I was gonna make stuff for cigarettes, but I need ammunition, which means I need to upgrade the metal workshop. Alright, who needs to sleep? You need to go sleep. Bruno? Well, I don't have any bandages, so I guess for now you have to sleep. Death takes its toll in Pagorin. Sniper fire, mortar shells, and cold temperatures are the cause of deaths of many civilians. The spokesman for the military said, Civilian casualties are the result of tragic accidents and criminal activity within the city. Prices of cigarettes and tobacco have become exceedingly high. So, if I can convert my vast quantities of tobacco into cigarettes... In fact, this tobacco itself is already worth quite a bit. But if I can convert it into cigarettes, it's going to be worth even more. Well, while they're sleeping, let me take a look around. What can I make? Almost anything I want. Can I... Oh, I can make the front door thing. Okay. So I have to ask myself, what do I want? Do I want to prevent people from raiding me in the first place? Or do I want to get better guns to fend them off with? Do I have any bullets left? Uh, rounds, I mean? No, so we're completely out of ammo. I have tons of shells and, and gunpowder. What will it take to upgrade this? I just don't have the components. 
And what do I need to make the mixer to even make that? Electric parts? Alright, that's no problem. Okay, so I can... If I make the mixer, I won't even have enough electric parts to make this, let alone the extra nine components I would need. So this... I can't... I just can't do this right now. There's just no way for me to get ammo unless the trader comes by. So I'm gonna protect ourselves. Yeah, let's reinforce the door. If I do that, no, that's gonna take up all my components, so I won't be able to process my tobacco. But if the tobacco gets stolen, then it doesn't matter if I can process it. No, I'm, I'm gonna protect us first. It's more important. Alright, let's fix up that door. And we do have some food that we need to cook, because actually some of our people are very hungry, and we need more f yeah, we need more fuel in the thing. Damn it, Pavel, you're so slow! Bruno, oh, you have a deep wound, I don't want you moving about. Hold on. I was about to leave my parents' neighborhood empty-handed when an acquaintance halted me and said there was a situation I could help with. The army had arrested a local beauty under some cooked-up charges. I guess it doesn't need explaining what she was wanted for. The locals pooled the ransom money and needed someone to deliver it. Ugh. Okay, um, she's actually sick. Not slightly sick, so she actually needs medicine. In fact, you might as well just collect the meat on the way up. Let's look at this. Complete. Beautiful. Ooh! The traders come by. Perfect. You can go back to sleep. You are on meds. I know, you can go rest in a second. We gotta trade first, though. The vegetable should be done tomorrow. Okay. I might be able to get a lot for this tobacco. I don't know if I have time to actually turn it into anything else. And you have ammo. Which is super important. Okay, so how much is it worth? Nothing special, but not bad either. That's not... Uh... Wait, I thought the report said that tobacco is worth a shit ton. This guy says this quality roll-up is a very common stuff. It's disappointing. One tobacco for one round? Eh. Yeah. I could really use components. I'd still be lacking the electric parts to upgrade my workstation to make rounds, though, so... <sighs> what do I want? What do I want? Vegetable would be nice. have it almost for nothing. Okay, I think I might get this just to make my people happier. Alright, that's the stuff I really want, so what do I have to trade for it? Oh, he doesn't want snow. Damn it. I'm gonna keep that assault rifle. It's not something I'm gonna, not something I'm gonna find a lot of. Hope to restore the guitar, although I have to admit it doesn't have many practical purposes. Alright, how much tobacco for this? Five tobacco for that? You know what, that's worth it. Still seems a little bit steep, considering the reports. The tobacco is worth a crap ton, but... Uh, I'll do it. 
Franco, I'm starting to feel like you're screwing me over. You know, I think I'm going to compare these prices against Amazon. See if they can offer me a better deal, you know. Do you think Prime Shipping will ship here? Let's see if I can get a little bit more. Nope. Not even a single component. Alright, that's worth it. Nope, I'm good, thank you. You've rested, excellent. Alright, Katya, you can go to sleep. Alright, yeah, let's make this place warmer. Probably need two more logs on the fire. I should do it. Do we need water? Four, yeah, we need more water. We only have four water right now. Okay, Bruno, you're gonna have to cook pretty soon. In fact, you're not tired anymore, so... Yep, time to do some cooking. What does your bio say? I have a house just outside the city, and ride a bus to work. One day I was in my restaurant here in Pagoran, not really noticing the muted TV showing some scenes of heavy fighting, and suddenly I recognize the location. It was my town. My friend was there. With a pounding heart, I grabbed my coat and rushed towards the sound of gunfire. Okay, I think I need to make some of the raw food. Oh crap, I didn't mean to get you up. Alright, well, you're already up. Okay. I'd prefer to hold off. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on making the raw food because I really want vegetables to go with it. Because it really helps extend its its life, the life of my raw food. Lasts a lot longer. Okay, Katya needs to eat as well. It's chilly. Oh, it's still chilly? Shit. Alright, put another one on. Shit, put two on. That's enough fuel inside. Alright. It better be enough. Max the damn thing out. Okay, nobody's starving. Temperature's going up. Is it not gonna go... Oh, wait. The fuel went down, didn't it? Alright, so where am I going tonight? Where am I going tonight? I could go back to the construction site. But I kinda need components more than anything. I definitely need components more than anything, actually. Okay. You know, I was thinking if I didn't find medicine, I could always go to the hospital as a backup plan, but I just realized I can't. And Bruno's wounded. That could be a problem if he gets worse. He needs to sleep. Yeah, he's gonna stay in bed. I can't have that getting worse. Okay, we shouldn't need too many guards. I think one guard would be okay, because we have everything as fully secured as it could possibly be, and we have a pistol. So, Katya is sick, she'll sleep, I'll have Amelia guard, and then Pavel can scavenge. Okay. I could bring my remaining tobacco to the military outpost. Because apparently they like to trade especially for alcohol or cigarettes. 
Now, tobacco's not actually cigarettes, but eh, they probably know how to roll their own. So if I don't want to trade, what are my other options? And this is fully explored except for trading. Or stealing. That's fully explored. That's stealing. That's really fucking dangerous. Sniper Junction's really dangerous too. Sniper Junction is full on desperation. No thanks. I think I'm gonna go to the military outpost and take the tobacco with me. Yeah, let's check this place out. What do I need? I would like bandages. I don't, I don't absolutely need them, but I would like them. Depends on whether Bruno can recover or not, and I don't, I just don't know. Anything else to take? Not really. Well, I could trade the quality roll-up. I kind of want to leave that for Bruno. But can I really afford to leave it? I think he'd appreciate a bandage more than a cigarette. So, I'm going to take it with me. Should I take any tools? I don't know what I'm going to find. Nah. There's probably going to be stuff for me to scavenge. Okay. I've lost track whose side they're on. Yep, yeah, me too. Okay. Hi there. Watch it, there's a restricted area. Better have some good stuff to trade. I do. I do. Okay. If you got smokes or booze, we'll make a deal, but don't try anything funny. Well, if this is anything to go by, then this quality roll-up is worth just as much as the tobacco. Can I get one round for one tobacco? I can. Okay. What about a bandage? I can't even get a bandage. Okay, so then they don't... Hello. Wait, come with me. Oh. Oh, okay. What are they talking about? Hopefully it's not about how they're going to shoot me. I'm just going to take whatever's here. If there's anything. Okay, well, I mean, I, I just can't get a bandage. Simple as that. Let me just test something. Hm. Yeah, the text that it says about how much something would cost is very vague. So, for example, this canned food says it would cost you. This raw food also says it would cost you, which might make you think that they have the same cost, right? But they don't, because for a can of food, it's five pieces of tobacco. For the raw food, it's three. Hmm, could use some weapon parts too. All right, well, how much can I get for all this stuff? Apparently, they don't value the weapon parts very much at all. I think that's worth it. A little bit more ammo, some more weapon parts. Which might leave me with enough to make the assault rifle. Wait, no, I need to upgrade the workstation to be able to do that, don't I? I think I do. I can maybe make the helmet, though. Or I could save this tobacco... ...to make it a cigarettes. I don't know. 
think I'm gonna do it. Okay. I don't want to fuck with these people, but I really want something more. Holy crap! This place is huge! I got people in watchtowers. There's just no way I can s Oh, where'd, where'd the dude go? Oh, he's coming back. He keeps, like, leaving. I really don't want to fuck with him, but I really want more stuff. Okay, let me wait for him to leave again and see if I can... ...jack some stuff from here. I'm just gonna calmly stare at your face. If you wouldn't mind turning around for a couple minutes while I rob you blind. <clears throat> I think somebody's coming. I better have a gun. He almost certainly does, but I don't actually see one in his hand. I'm just wondering, if I have to run, am I gonna get shot in the back? Look, I can stand here all night, man. Is even stuff up there? This guy never turns around. If I can get up the ladder, I can get that. But then if this guy sees me coming up or down the ladder... Screw it. Alright, so that's, that is only a place to go if I want to steal. Or trade. Day 30. We've actually made it a whole month. Okay. Alright. Looks like all of our patching and fixing up of the door was not for naught. Night was calm. That was a pathetic run, though. But at least I got some more ammo. Alright, Bruno, has your wounds gotten worse? Uh, nah. Still wounded, still recovering. I need to, I really need to make sure he stays in bed, because I do not have any bandages and the hospital is closed. Okay, well, I think I will end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.